Welcome, beautiful souls, to a message that found you for a reason. If you're here, watching this right now, know that it isn't random. The universe guided you to this message, a beacon calling you to listen closely. Take a deep breath and let go of the fears and worries, because today, we're diving into a truth that could shift your entire perspective on being alone, isolated, and without romantic connections. So often, we question why things don't happen the way we planned, especially when it comes to finding a romantic partner. We look around and see others connected, loved, and moving forward in their relationships, and yet, we're left wondering why that hasn't happened for us. If this resonates with you, if it sparks something within you, like this video to send that energy out to others who need it. Every like helps spread this message, every subscription draws more light, and every comment of 77 foot is a signal sent directly to the universe. And if you feel called, replay this video, again and again, gathering the energy from it, letting it amplify your call to the universe. This journey isn't meant to end in loneliness, it's a preparation, and this video is here to open your eyes to the reasons behind it. Now, let's dive deep into the truth of why isolation is part of the Chosen One's path. Chapter 1, The Purpose Behind Isolation Isolation is not a punishment, nor does it signify any form of deficiency or inadequacy within you. It is, in fact, one of the most profound gifts you can receive, designed to elevate and prepare you for a purpose beyond the typical life experiences. Many chosen ones endure extended phases without romantic connections, often feeling as though they are set apart, misunderstood, or even wondering if there is something wrong with them. This solitude, however, is entirely intentional. It's a space carefully crafted by the universe, a time meant to peel back the layers of worldly distraction so you can finally stand face to face with your true self, without any illusions or influences clouding your perception. When you're constantly surrounded by others, especially in romantic relationships, the focus often shifts outward, making it easy to lose touch with the essence of who you are. Relationships can sometimes act as a soothing balm, filling the void or helping us avoid facing the deeper layers of our own psyche. Yet, for you, dear Chosen One, your journey requires a more profound preparation, one that calls for a depth of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and self-love that few ever reach. Your purpose demands that you enter into this solitude not as a form of rejection or loneliness, but as a sacred and transformative time that will ultimately lead you closer to your destiny. This isolation provides a sanctuary, a holy space where you can cultivate an unbreakable foundation of inner strength. Without the influence of others, you have the rare opportunity to explore the depths of your own values, your vision, and the unique dreams that are meant for you alone. This period of solitude is not a rejection of companionship or connection, rather, it is a divine recalibration. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, is clearing away the clutter around you, removing anything and anyone that does not harmonize with the path you are destined to walk. Each soul, belief, or distraction that drifts away during this time is part of a divine design, making space for a more powerful alignment with your highest self. Consider this isolation to be a cocoon, a place of metamorphosis where you are hidden away from the world, undergoing an inner transformation so profound that it will reshape the very core of your being. Just like the caterpillar must surrender to the process within the cocoon, you too are being asked to surrender to this phase. Though it may seem quiet or even lonely from the outside, within, there is a magnificent unfolding taking place on a soul level. You are becoming stronger, more resilient, and more attuned to your true self in ways that can only be nurtured in solitude. When the time is right, you will emerge from this cocoon, transformed and more fully in tune with your divine calling. This phase of isolation is not an indication of forever being alone, it is a necessary chapter that will equip you with the clarity, strength, and inner knowing needed to walk your unique path. Until then, honor this period as a sacred season, a necessary preparation for the life you are meant to lead. Know that this time is not in vain, but is, in fact, essential to the process of becoming who you were truly meant to be. 
Chapter 2, Deepening Self-Awareness In the quietude of isolation, you offered a rare opportunity to see yourself more clearly than ever before. Without the constant reflections and expectations of others, you begin to tune into the subtle nuances of your own being. In this space, the universe is inviting you to explore the corners of your soul that often remain hidden in the hustle and bustle of relationships and societal demands. This is a time to connect with your innermost self, to gain insight into your thoughts, feelings, patterns, and motivations. It's a chance to understand yourself in ways that you may have overlooked, bypassed, or been unable to access amid life's usual noise. Deepening self-awareness in isolation can be transformative and liberating. You start to identify what truly matters to you, and what values define your path, free from external influences. At times, self-discovery can be challenging because you may encounter aspects of yourself that you had been avoiding or hadn't realized were there. However, facing these truths is a powerful act of self-love and acceptance. Each revelation is a layer of yourself peeling back, offering you the freedom to redefine, realign, and, if needed, release old narratives or beliefs that no longer serve you. This internal work is like tending to a garden, you're cultivating the soil of your spirit, making space for new growth, new perspectives, and new possibilities. As you dive deeper, you begin to recognize how every experience and relationship in your life has shaped you. In isolation, you can reflect on how past connections may have influenced your beliefs about yourself and your worth. This time allows you to reclaim parts of yourself that may have been overlooked, reshaped, or minimized in the pursuit of pleasing others. With each day, you grow stronger and more connected to your inner truth, feeling more at ease with the unique path that is unfolding for you. Your self-awareness blossoms, bringing you closer to understanding your true essence, your purpose, and the gifts you are here to share with the world. Through this process, you also come to realize the importance of forgiving yourself for any perceived mistakes or missteps along the way. Every lesson and every choice has led you to this moment of clarity and self-discovery. This is a time to shed the weight of past regrets, acknowledging that each step on your journey has contributed to your growth. Your isolation is a time of release and rebirth, a sacred pause that allows you to integrate these lessons, so you can emerge with a deeper, richer understanding of who you are. This deep self-awareness becomes a solid foundation upon which you'll build the next chapters of your life, knowing that the more connected you are to yourself, the more you'll attract experiences and relationships that align with your true path. Chapter 3. Building in a Strength as you navigate through the depths of solitude, a profound gift begins to emerge, an unshakable inner strength that's been waiting to rise within you. This period of isolation is not here to drain you or make you feel weaker, it's a divine process to forge resilience in the deepest parts of your being. Each challenge you face alone, every moment of doubt, and every wave of loneliness contributes to a foundation of strength that will support you throughout your journey. It's in these moments, as you confront the silence and navigate the unknown, that you start to trust in your own abilities, relying on the strength residing within rather than seeking constant validation or support from others. Inner strength is cultivated quietly and often in solitude. In these silent moments, free from distractions, you have the opportunity to face yourself fully, to observe your fears, and to embrace every facet of who you are. It's through this process that you learn to calm your mind, to find a sense of peace within, and to draw power from the connection you have with your own spirit and the divine. This journey of resilience is one of transformation, where you confront doubts, insecurities, and discomfort, only to realize there is a power within you greater than any external force. With every hurdle you overcome alone, you grow stronger, becoming grounded in the understanding that you are far more capable and resilient than you once believed. Solitude tests the spirit, but it also reveals your extraordinary potential. Without the voices of others shaping your choices, you come to understand that you possess the wisdom and courage to make your own decisions, to trust your intuition, and to chart your unique course. 
This process of standing alone fortifies your inner core, reclaiming the power that is rightfully yours. Each time you choose to rise above doubt, to confront fear, you are adding layers of resilience and wisdom to your being. This journey isn't just about learning to be self-sufficient, it's about developing a relationship of interdependence with your highest self and with the divine. Through this, you come to understand that you are never truly alone, you are supported by a powerful, universal force that wants to see you succeed. When you eventually emerge from this period of solitude, the inner strength you've cultivated will be a solid foundation on which to build the next chapters of your life. This strength will be the rock you lean on during future challenges, guiding you to stand firm in your beliefs, to pursue your purpose with unwavering dedication, and to stay true to yourself even when life tests your resolve. The power you are building now will not only serve you, but will also inspire those around you who witness your resilience. By choosing to embrace this journey and harnessing your strength, you're demonstrating the power of faith, perseverance, and divine guidance. As a chosen one, your journey is never solely for you. It's a testament to the power of inner fortitude, showing others what is possible when one commits to standing strong in their truth. In facing solitude with courage, you are creating a legacy of strength and inspiration, paving the way for others to see that resilience lies within, that true strength is built from within, and that they, too, have access to this limitless well of inner power. You're teaching others that, in their moments of solitude, they can find a power that will serve them through every trial and triumph. And as you move forward, this strength will remain an ever-present guide, carrying you closer to the life and purpose you were chosen to fulfill. Chapter 4 – Walking the Path Alone One of the most challenging truths you come to face as a chosen one is that your path often requires solitude. This isn't an accident or a misfortune, it's an essential part of your journey. Many people simply won't be able to grasp the depth of the calling you carry, and not everyone is meant to walk alongside you. This journey is uniquely yours, and certain aspects of it are meant to be experienced in solitude, untouched by outside influences. This can be isolating and even painful, as you may watch friendships, connections, and relationships that once felt irreplaceable naturally fall away. People who were once central to your life may no longer resonate with where you're headed, and it's one of the bittersweet realities of being on a path that few can truly comprehend. Walking this path alone allows you to cultivate a profound connection with the divine, one that cannot be forged in the company of others. In solitude, you have the sacred space to listen to the quiet whispers of your soul, to hear guidance that's meant for you alone. This time away from the noise and opinions of others is not a punishment, it's an opportunity, a gift, to prepare you for what lies ahead. The absence of others enables you to delve deeply into self-reflection, to understand your purpose with greater clarity, and to fortify the inner strength you will need to fulfill it. In these quiet moments, you realize that your purpose, your worth, and your journey are not defined by others' approval, companionship, or validation, but by the divine mission that has been set out for you to accomplish. As you walk this path, a sense of longing for companionship may arise, a desire for understanding and for people who can genuinely relate to your journey. It's natural to wish for a connection that mirrors the depth of your own calling, but understand that this longing is also part of the journey. It teaches you to look inward, to build a resilience that doesn't rely on others' presence or affirmation. This season of solitude is teaching you self-reliance, self-trust, and unwavering faith. It's in this solitude that you'll learn to lean on the divine, on a source of strength and wisdom far greater than what any human companionship can provide. The solitude you face is not a sign of lack but of purpose. Your time alone refines your character, strips away any dependencies, and brings you face to face with your authentic self. You'll find that the fewer voices around you, the more clearly you can hear the voice within, guiding you toward your highest calling. With fewer distractions, you'll be able to see yourself more honestly, identifying both your strengths and the areas where growth is needed. It's in this space of self-discovery that you'll uncover layers of wisdom, compassion, 
and resilience you may not have realized you possessed. Solitude allows you to cultivate a strength that is unbreakable, because it's rooted in something far greater than human approval. Remember, chosen one, that though the path may feel solitary, you are never truly alone. You are supported by a divine presence, a higher power that has been with you since the beginning and that walks with you every step of the way. This divine guidance provides a source of comfort, strength, and wisdom that sustains you through the trials and tribulations of your journey. When you feel isolated or misunderstood, take solace in the fact that you are held by a force that understands your heart completely, that knows the magnitude of your purpose, and that is guiding you, even in the quietest moments. In time, you may notice that your circle becomes smaller, but also more meaningful. The people who remain or enter your life are those who truly resonate with your path, who understand your purpose on a deep, authentic level. Though you may have fewer companions, these connections will be richer, deeper, and more aligned with the journey you are on. These are the individuals who respect your mission, who uplift you in ways that go beyond surface-level interactions. They, too, are likely on paths of growth, seeking a deeper meaning in life, and will understand the value of solitude and purpose. By walking this path alone, you are setting an example for others to find strength within themselves. The courage it takes to stand in your truth, even in isolation, serves as an inspiration for those who witness your journey. You become a beacon for those who are hesitant to walk their own path, showing them that it is possible to stand firm in purpose without the constant validation of others. This is part of your mission as a chosen one, to pave the way, to be a light for others who are navigating their own unique paths. Isolation, then, is not something to fear or resent. Instead, it is something to honor, to appreciate as a part of your sacred journey. It is a time of preparation, of strengthening, of refinement. Embrace this solitude, for it is leading you to a place of profound self-awareness and connection with the divine. By learning to walk alone, you are preparing yourself to stand strong, unshaken by the trials that may come. You're learning to trust in your path and in the purpose that has been chosen specifically for you. So, take heart in knowing that this solitude is temporary, a season in your life that holds immeasurable value. When the time is right, the right people, opportunities, and connections will come into your life, aligning with your journey in ways that feel natural and fulfilling. These relationships will be a blessing, a reflection of the growth and depth you have gained during this time of solitude. They will come not to fill a void, but to enhance a life already rich with purpose, strength, and clarity. Embrace this solitude, knowing that it is a vital step on the path you are meant to walk. Chapter 5 He Embracing Uniqueness and Standing Firm As a chosen one, you are meant to stand out, to shine in ways that may set you apart, sometimes and comfortably so, from the crowd. In a world that often values conformity and promotes the safety of fitting in, standing firm in your uniqueness can feel like swimming upstream. There's a societal pressure to meet certain expectations, to follow conventional paths, and to stay within clearly defined roles. But for you, chosen one, the journey looks different, and your purpose demands that you not only accept this truth, but embrace it. You are here to be a light, a leader, a trailblazer, someone who walks their own path unapologetically and with conviction. This unique purpose doesn't always align with the expectations of society or the people around you, and that's not only okay, it's powerful. Embracing your uniqueness calls for a profound sense of self-acceptance. It requires courage to stand up and say, this is who I am, and I honor that. People may question your choices, doubt your path, or misunderstand your motivations. At times, you may even feel tempted to explain yourself, to justify your decisions, or to seek approval. But remember, your worth is not determined by others' opinions or judgments. You are here with a mission that is divinely crafted, and that mission requires you to show up as your authentic self. When you fully accept who you are, you set yourself free. You release the weight of needing external validation, and in doing so, 
you become unstoppable, rooted in a truth that is unshakable. Standing firm in your uniqueness isn't only about benefiting yourself, it's a gift you give to the world. When you embody your true self, you inspire others to do the same. You become a beacon, lighting the way for those who may feel confined by the expectations placed upon them. You become a living example of what it means to break free from limitations and to pursue a life in alignment with one's soul. This journey is not just about transforming your own life, it's about paving the way for others to find their own truth and step into their power. There's a ripple effect at play here. By embracing your path, you encourage others to question, explore, and ultimately embrace their own unique calling. There will be moments along the way when the weight of standing out feels heavy. When the voices of others seem louder than your inner guidance, or when doubt creeps in, tempting you to question your path. In these times, remind yourself of the bigger picture. Every challenge, every doubt, and every moment of solitude is shaping you into the person you are meant to become. The discomfort you experience is the friction that polishes your soul, refining your purpose and deepening your understanding of who you are. In embracing your uniqueness, you also let go of the need to conform or explain yourself to those who may never understand. You give yourself permission to live in alignment with your higher purpose, fully aware that not everyone is meant to walk this path with you. And that's okay. True alignment sometimes requires solitude, a willingness to walk alone if that's what your soul needs. This journey of self-discovery and authenticity is sacred. Each step is an act of courage, each choice a declaration that you are enough, just as you are. There's no need to dilute yourself to make others comfortable. The world needs the full, vibrant expression of who you are, even if it takes time for others to see and appreciate it. As you continue to stand firm in your uniqueness, you may find that you naturally attract those who resonate with your truth. Relationships become deeper, more meaningful, as you draw in people who honor and support your authentic self. The need for external validation diminishes, replaced by an inner knowing that you are exactly where you need to be. You begin to recognize that the most powerful approval comes not from others, but from within. When you give yourself that approval, the world around you shifts. You attract opportunities, connections, and experiences that align with your purpose, drawing in those who uplift and understand you. In standing firm, you also develop resilience. Each challenge you face in staying true to yourself becomes a lesson, a stepping stone that strengthens your conviction. You learn to trust the process, to see opposition as a sign that you are on the right path. People may misunderstand you, but in staying true to yourself, you build a legacy that transcends misunderstanding. Your journey becomes a testament to the power of authenticity, a story of resilience that inspires others long after you've moved forward. Being a chosen one means understanding that your uniqueness is not just a part of you, it is the essence of your mission. This is the beauty of embracing who you are. It is an act of service, a contribution to the collective consciousness that encourages others to embrace themselves. You become a way shower, a pioneer, someone whose presence gives permission to others to be unapologetically themselves. As you walk this path, know that every step you take in authenticity lights the way for others, expanding the boundaries of what's possible. So, hold your head high, chosen one. Stand firm in your uniqueness, for in doing so, you fulfill a divine purpose that is far greater than yourself. Let the world witness the power of a soul that is fully, unapologetically alive. And as you do, may you find strength in the knowledge that you are exactly as you are meant to be a unique, powerful expression of divine love and truth. Chapter 6 Facing Opposition and Rising Above As a chosen one, opposition is almost a constant presence on your journey. Those who don't understand your calling or who may feel intimidated by your light may try to undermine you, judge you, or even attempt to minimize your achievements. This opposition is not random or incidental, it is an integral part of your path, a force that strengthens and challenges you to stand firm in your purpose. 
Facing opposition sharpens your resolve, pushes you to deepen your commitment, and compels you to rely on your inner strength, rather than on external approval or validation. The opposition you face can appear in various forms. Sometimes, it's in the form of doubt or discouragement from those closest to you, be friends, family, or colleagues who, despite their intentions, cannot fully grasp the depth of your calling. Other times, it may manifest as societal expectations, jealousy, or even self-doubt. There may be moments when you feel tempted to question whether the sacrifices you've made and the challenges you've endured are truly worth it. But these tests are refining you, transforming you into a version of yourself that is resilient, grounded, and capable of withstanding any storm that comes your way. Rising above opposition doesn't mean ignoring it or becoming immune to its sting, it means responding to it with wisdom, strength, and a steady focus on your higher mission. It requires you to stand unwavering in your truth, even when others cannot see or understand the vision that drives you. This isn't a time for retaliation or for lowering yourself to meet negativity, it's a call to stay elevated, to remember that the power within you is infinitely greater than any force working against you. When you rise above, you embody the resilience and grace that define a true chosen one. This example you set sends a message to those who oppose you that their efforts cannot and will not deter you from fulfilling your divine purpose. Each encounter with opposition strengthens your resolve and bolsters your sense of empowerment. You begin to see that the resistance you face is not a reflection of your worth, but rather a testament to the magnitude of your calling. The brighter your light shines, the more noticeable it becomes to those who live in shadow. But this light is exactly what will one day inspire and illuminate paths for others who, like you, are seeking their own truth. Embrace the strength that comes from facing and overcoming opposition, and let it fuel your journey, knowing that every obstacle you conquer is preparing you for even greater victories ahead. Chapter 7. The Gift of Divine Timing One of the deepest lessons you, as a chosen one, are meant to learn is the powerful and sometimes challenging truth of divine timing. This isn't just about waiting, it's about understanding the harmony and wisdom embedded in every delay, every pause, and every seemingly empty season. In the space of isolation, you're granted the opportunity to truly experience and internalize this wisdom. Divine timing operates on a level beyond human schedules and expectations, aligning you with the flow of a plan that was designed specifically for you, a plan that stretches far beyond what the mind can conceive. Through this period, you come to understand that everything in your life unfolds exactly as it's meant to, in its own perfect time, under the guidance of a higher order. Isolation creates a cocoon where the noise of urgency fades, where the pressures of social timelines, romantic milestones, and career achievements fall into the background. In this quiet, you learn to observe and feel life at a deeper level, noticing how every delay and redirection serves a purpose. The universe, in its wisdom, knows when you are ready for certain people, places, and experiences to come into your life. Divine timing is not random, it is precise and compassionate, orchestrating events to meet you when you are truly prepared to receive them. By learning to trust in this timing, you begin to let go of any feeling of missing out or needing to push yourself toward arbitrary goals. Instead, you start to walk hand in hand with the universe, trusting that it is gently guiding you, aligning each piece of your journey in perfect order. This season of isolation becomes a sacred training ground in patience and trust. While others may be rushing forward, chasing connections, or even compromising their own desires to fit into timelines set by society, you are called to a different rhythm. You are here to honor the wisdom of waiting, to embrace the power of being present, and to know that there is no need to rush. Each step, each pause, each moment of waiting is shaping you into the person who will be ready for what is meant for you. Divine timing isn't just about when things happen, but about ensuring that, when they do, you are truly prepared to embrace them fully and authentically. In embracing divine timing, you also unlock the freedom to release the need for control. 
You no longer feel the weight of having to make everything happen on your own or the pressure to bring about certain outcomes. Instead, you find comfort in knowing that a greater force is at work, orchestrating every aspect of your path with precision. This trust doesn't mean you stop dreaming or stop putting in the effort. Rather, it means you align your actions with a sense of inner peace, knowing that your efforts are part of a larger divine tapestry. When you stop trying to rush or control outcomes, you allow yourself to receive life's gifts when they are truly ready to manifest in their most perfect form. The absence of romantic connections, friendships, or certain opportunities during this time is not a punishment or a sign of failure. It's preparation, a vital period for you to refine who you are, what you value, and what you're here to give. The universe is gently guiding you toward a place of inner wholeness, where you no longer look to external relationships or accomplishments for validation. Instead, you become deeply rooted in your own worth, in the knowledge that you are complete as you are. When the time is right, the people and opportunities that are aligned with your spirit will arrive effortlessly, resonating with the highest version of you. Living in harmony with divine timing brings an awareness of the beauty in every moment, even in moments of waiting or uncertainty. Instead of focusing on what you don't have or what has yet to unfold, you cultivate a sense of gratitude for each step of the journey. Divine timing allows you to see that every season of your life, even those marked by solitude or delay, is woven into the unique story that is yours alone. Each chapter is necessary, each experience building upon the last, preparing you for what is to come. This awareness gives you the gift of presence, a reminder to appreciate each day for what it brings, knowing that all is unfolding as it should. Through divine timing, you come to understand that the universe is always working on your behalf, aligning each experience and each connection with divine precision. Even in isolation, even in solitude, there is a promise that the universe is crafting the most beautiful journey for you. This period of waiting is not empty, it is rich with purpose, filled with lessons that will shape you in ways that nothing else could. It is an invitation to trust, to lean into the unfolding mystery of life, knowing that you are guided, protected, and loved by forces beyond comprehension. And when the time is right, the doors will open, and you will find yourself stepping into a reality that resonates perfectly with the deepest parts of your soul. The people, opportunities, and experiences that arrive will do so effortlessly, and you will feel a profound sense of alignment, knowing that they're exactly what you need and that you are fully ready to embrace them. Embracing divine timing is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself, a path to peace and fulfillment that transcends the confines of human expectation and societal pressure. In understanding and accepting divine timing, you free yourself from the restlessness that comes from waiting, replacing it with the calm assurance that you are on a sacred journey, designed uniquely for you. Every moment, every experience, every season of solitude has a purpose, leading you ever closer to the life you were meant to live. Trust in this timing, for it is the universe's way of bringing you home to yourself, to your purpose, and to the incredible future that awaits you. Thank you for joining me on this journey, chosen one. Remember, this season of isolation is preparing you for something greater. Trust the path, embrace the lessons, and know that you are being guided every step of the way. If this message resonated, please like, subscribe, and comment 77 to send your signal to the universe. Let this video's energy stay with you as you move forward, aligned with your purpose. Until next time, stay strong and stay true to your calling.